folks, welcome back to another review with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today we're talking about a couple of box inserts from this company right here called Meeple Realty. Uh, at Origins, they gave us a few of their um, box inserts to review, and I was able to grab both the fly, both the Firefly box insert and the Star Wars Rebellion insert from uh, uh, the Dice Tower headquarters and give them a review. So, without further ado, let's get down to the table and I'll show you. So here we are with our first box insert of this video and that is going to be the Firefly, the board game. Uh, box insert from Meeple Realty. And so if we open the box here, we'll see that uh, the box, I've already put it together, of course, um, but it comes with, this is uh, basically telling you everything that comes inside of the uh, cargo ship Meeple Realty box insert that is specifically for Firefly. And then it also comes with a uh, set of instructions on how to put it all together and so forth and so on. And then it also gives you suggested uh, storage options and that type of thing on that page as well. So everything is cool so far there. The actual box insert is very well constructed. It has a really cool um, um, look to it, especially this one it looks like a cargo crate almost. Um, and one of the cool things about this one is that in this little thing here, well, <laughs> the dice it has a little secret compartment for the dice. It just go right up in there. Uh, and then, so I thought that was a little thematic cool thing that they did uh, with the box insert, but uh, all of your goal and uh, uh, warrants tokens are here. All of your stands and everything are in here, all of your ships and your dinosaur is in here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. All of the, uh, here's a little uh, piece of the board. Um, all of your tokens and everything fit very well into these guys right here. Um, and the, the, the sturdiness of the actual uh, wood and everything and how they goes together is very good. Um, I did have to use wood glue on it so that it um, it just has a little bit more sturdiness to it. Uh, but a cool thing about this is that uh, you can actually remove this part right here. Um, but because of all the little tokens, I don't know that I will be. But um, very cool little uh, tokens. Uh, and so then we come to the different uh, cards that come in the game. Um, these are all of the... Uh, different places that you can go in shop, Space Bazaar, uh, Osiris, Persephone, and all that good stuff all up in here. And then here is uh, your um, different contractors and stuff like that. Sp Alliance Space. There's a lot of good stuff about this insert. I think it fits comfortably. Um, everything it does allow for multiple expansions. I don't have everything uh, that uh, this game offers. However, um, there is some extra room on both of these guys here. So uh, there is that. So there's some extra space there. Um, you might be thinking at this point though, this is all well and good, this looks nice, uh, but I haven't seen the boards, I haven't seen any of that stuff, and that is because if you look on the sheet proper, it actually says right there, requires a big box expansion as well that will hold the maps. And so I have to pull out my Firefly Kayla Desa um, box and Here's the rest of the stuff that come in the box. Now, these are cool. These are really neat little things here. They, they hold the money. So they, you, you know, it's paper money is not that great, uh, in my opinion, at least. Uh, but these are cool to have if you have to use the paper money. Uh, these are little extras for the inserts. And then here's everything else for the game in this box. Um, so 
All in all, I have to say that uh, uh, it's a cool box. It was a booger to put together at, at some points, but it was fun uh, to put together. I do enjoy uh, all of the different uh, aspects of the different kinds of, of putting together that was required. Um, so, and there are a lot of cool things, the thematic uh, centerpiece here, and then these things here as well. Uh, all of it's really neat. Um, I think it's very good quality. Um, let's get to another one though. And then we also got a insert for Star Wars Rebellion from Meeple Realty. And just like with the other one, it comes with a little uh, list of everything that comes in it pictorial display, and then uh, hints on putting everything together, and storage solutions as well that you can have for the game as well. So uh, everything <coughs> that comes in the game, now there aren't any expansions for this one yet, so there is that, but everything comes in the game and everything is flush so that everything's held inside the box. Um, very well and you have each of these little guys here that now you'll notice there's an entire tray here that has nothing in it and that is set aside specifically for expansions um, and you'll notice that many of these are not chalked full either because again there, there could be some expansions that are coming out but everything's held pretty well and all of these these are all well uh, made as well as uh, you know how sturdy they are the wood is very good uh, as far as strength and durability is concerned um, then you have this guy right here you know just trays where the dice go and the different um, a, a, a attachable rings and everything we get all the way down here and again you see a lot of room extra space here and I think that is either over planning which is cool because you know we are talking about fantasy flight here we could have expansions out the wazoo as far as that's concerned um, but at the same time i mean if you pull these out they're all very sturdy and very durable construction not have to worry about putting these together and having them fall apart especially if you use the wood glue as a matter of fact i encourage you to use the wood glue as you put these together so that they are more sturdy uh, and now these are these are kind of where this set is really shines and again I don't know if this was absolutely necessary to do this but it's really cool that they did do it you pull it out all of the different leaders and factions slide in there it's really cool how they do so you just slide them in there and they all go in different uh, offsetting rules now putting this box together was difficult we'll just say that um, but the uh, what you get for that difficulty I think is really cool um, I mean even when I was putting my copy into this I was having to put some of these little plastic things back onto these cardboard standees so having them in this fashion stored will be better for them and hey that's just cool then the other thing that was I thought was pretty cool about the insert was this little guy right here. I really like how they took the Death Stars and you just slide them in and out like that. I just thought that was really cool. That was a very cool idea. Now, again, putting this little guy together was a booger. Um, so <laughs> take your time. Don't get frustrated, as I may or may not have done, and uh, just do your best. Um, all of the Star Destroyers fit in here well. Now the storage thing says that the two Super Star Destroyers go here and then all of the Star Destroyers go here. Again, doesn't quite fit. Easy fix, just put some of the Star Destroyers over there. But uh, again, this is really cool. That's a very ingenious design there, I thought, uh, for storing the different Death Stars. Really cool. And then of course the Imperials also have their own box of uh, leaders and so there you have for Vader and Tarkin and all those good guys as well they're not good guys they're the bad guys as far as I'm concerned but you get my picture you get what I'm saying so uh, again uh, this was a very good insert I thought very um, 
practical, but at the same time also had some cool elements to it as well. So that is the uh, two box inserts from Meeple Realty, one for Rebellion and one for Firefly the game. Uh, my, final my final thoughts are, are quite simply this, and I'll go to the bad stuff first. I'm really disappointed in the Firefly one. I know that there's probably either simply too much stuff available for the game for it to all fit in this box, um, or, you know, the box is just simply too small. I know that's two sides of the same coin, really, but I was really disappointed that everything didn't fit inside this box. I, I guess I'm a little bit uh, spoiled in that respect whenever I hear of a, a boxer insert, whether it's foam core or wood. Uh, I'm usually expecting every single thing that's available for the game to fit in the box, unless there's just some reason that it's not possible. So I'm simply, I'm simply saying that I'm disappointed that the, the box insert for Firefly didn't fit everything in the core box. I just understand, though, that it, it may not be possible because either the board, you know, the box is just simply too small or there's just too much now that's available for it. Um, have, uh, I'm glad I had this box still because usually I get rid of expansion boxes and I keep everything in this. So it's a good thing that I still had this one so that I could hold all of the uh, maps in it. And again, that just... I don't know. Uh, the, the the way it's constructed and the cool factor of it with the different uh, sleeves for the money and the little hidden compartment for the dice, I thought those, those, those were all cool things. It's a well-constructed um, insert. I'm just kind of disappointed that it doesn't accommodate everything in one box like I'm accustomed to having box inserts do. Now, on the other side of that, um, I will say that I was very pleased with the one for Rebellion. And the reason it is, is because not only did they fit everything that's in the box inside the insert, but they've also left a lot of room for expansions. Fantasy Flight is known for having a lot of expansions for their games, and so they're kind of trying to stay ahead of the curve there. And I think they've done a well, uh, they've done a good job doing that. Um, the This also has the coolness factor of it, where the different um, uh, Death Stars slide into their slots, and, and the way of holding the different uh, leader cardboard standees that was all ingenious design. Almost seems like overkill. It's like, wow, that's really cool, but they're just cardboard standees. We're not really worried about uh, them getting knocked around or anything like that. But at the same time, it is a very cool thing to be able to have those where you know they're going to be all put together. Uh, like I said, in the, in, in, during showing you, those little plastic bases come off of those cardboard uh, standees a little bit easier than I'd like. I think with this storage solution that they've that they've come up with, that will be averted in the future. So that's really cool. All in all, Meeple Realty does a good job at making quality wooden box inserts. Um, again, a little disappointed about Firefly, but still good construction. Very kudos. This is the star of the review as far as I'm concerned. They did a very good job um, with uh, not only including everything, but allowing a lot of room for expansion. So that is Meeple Realty box inserts. Go give them a look. See you on the flip side.